tickets. In this video, we're going to talk about how to measure an angle. And we are going to measure using this lovely geometric tool called a protractor. Now, let's talk about the protractor. The protractor has a straight edge here at the bottom and it curves this is a semicircle so half of a circle now the bottom most protractors actually because the straight edge you can include a ruler and here a ruler we know we can measure a line segment and what we are measuring is the length of a line segment so for example we take this from the prior video and we have here this angle angle a and I put the zero right at the at the vertex and I line it up I see that if I were to round it to the nearest uh, half of an inch it would be one two about two and a half inches long okay but when we measure a angle we're not measuring the length. Instead, we are measuring the rotation, the rotation of one of the rays around its vertex. So here at this angle, for example, it's rotating to here. Now, if this angle were to the ray were here you could see that in that case the rotation is larger than if we were to just rotate to just here and if this ray were actually down even further the rotation would be so small and as a matter of fact if that ray were all the way on top just like it is right here so the other ray, we'll call it the side, one side of the angle was actually here. There's no rotation. So the measurement of the angle is zero. So let's just take this back to right here. So notice here there is a number zero. And right now I am looking at the, let's call it green. It's really more turquoise. The green, the interior measurement of the protractor. And the numbers go from zero, the right, to the left all the way to 180. Okay, this is the little nice, nice thing to have, but it's not necessary. It's just to help draw angle straight edges. So many protectors don't actually have this. You don't need it. So just mine happens to have it. Now, this is the case if I were to, let's say I have, this is the vertex of an angle. I'm creating a vertex. Okay, so it's right here. Let's make it a little bit thicker. Point A. Okay, and I'm going to use the straight edge of the protractor to create the side of this angle okay and I'm going to again use the straight edge to use the side of that angle and then go to the end so I have to put the arrows to show that it's uh, the sides are rays okay it's angle A so all the protractors have the middle the bottom have a place where you align the vertex of the angle and then you want to make sure that the side the bottom side here is aligned this is not correct so I'm going to align it like this so again this is the and then you could see that the purple is aligning nicely with the angle okay and because again it's opening from the right to the left so it's opening like this then I want to look at the bottom. I want to start in the, in the measure that has zero. The, the see-through measure right here, it starts with 180. So I'm not going to look at that because you always start with zero. Just like when you measure the length of a line segment, you start with zero, you start with, excuse me, you start with zero and then you count up to one, two, three, whatever. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead. Notice that these are nor the same numbers you would see in a ruler except now they're curved in a semicircle. so i have here 0 10 20 30 40 uh and it looks like it's between 40 and 50 and each little tick is one one unit one degree so f and the the thin mid tall tick between 
50 and 40 is going to be 45. It's going up by, by 5 in this case. So I have here 40 degrees, 45, 46. So the measure is 46. Now, it's not 46 inches because I'm measuring this in degrees. So these numbers represent degrees. Each tick is one degree. Okay? So what about the other side? I could also measure the same angle from this side being the bottom, the, uh, aligned to the bottom, okay? Except now, if you notice, I'm not going to use the green, the bottom measuring, because it starts with 180. And remember, we start counting from 0 and up. And if you notice here, there should be a 0 right there. So I'm going to use the outer numbers. So I'm going to go 0 degrees, 10 degrees, 20, 30, 40, uh, 50 degrees. How come it looks a little bit off on my part? Wait. Uh. Oh, I was off here. Okay, there it is. There's the okay. Forty degrees, forty-five. All right, the middle, the middle line between forty and fifty and forty-six. So I got the exact same measurement. Okay. So you can measure from, like I said, from right to left, or you can measure from left to right. Just make sure you're using, you're starting where it's zero. And that is how we measure a angle. Before we conclude, let's figure out how to write the measure of an angle. So the angle we just looked at was angle A. That's the vertex of the angle, angle A. That's the name, angle A. But we want it now in words, right? And I'm going to write it, the measure. So if you're being asked to justify and write in words, the measure of angle A is, and the angle was 46 degrees, not inches, because again, we're looking at measurement of angles, not segments. And it's a little dot on top. That's how you look at degrees. And in symbols, sometimes we'd want to just be able to write in symbols the same the way of writing it, except you put a letter M, the symbol of an angle, the three letters or the one letter you use to represent the angle equals 46 degrees. Okay, so remember, here's the key difference. This is the name of the given angle. This represents M. This represents the measurement of a given angle, which is equal to that. That's it.